Hi everyone, this is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1971 Plymouth Barracuda Grand Coupe 383 made it a 1 to 18 scale by Highway 61. That's a very nice car so if you like those Mopars just like I do please stick to the video to the end of it and let's take a better look at it so let's unbox it. And here we have the Crazy Plum 383 Barracuda Grand Coupe. That's a 1971 Barracuda. That's a great car, really. I like this car a lot. I like the way this car looks. I like this casting. I like this model. That's really awesome. So let's take a better look at this car right now. This car is the same color of that Dodge Challenger I've shown before, but that one was with a white vinyl and this one with a black vinyl. As we look at the front, we can see that this grill is actually a grill. It's uh, very realistic, really. In 1971, Barracuda has changed a little bit the style for uh, the dual headlights with a more aggressive looking grill. And the auxiliary lights and the blinkers continue about the same, but they had a little, uh, just a little change and a little touch up. The car was basically the same shape of 1971. Uh, by the way, from 1970 to 1974, Barracuda hasn't changed much. Essentially, the car was about the same, just having some engine changes, of course, because of legislation. As we have the hood here, we can see those air intakes, which are very realistic, and we can pop the hood open and take a look at this 383 engine. As we look at the engine bay, we can see the engine bay is completely detailed. We can see details of every kind of component we can find here. As uh, we look, we can see the battery cables, uh, the engine cables, spark plug cables, distributor, alternator, horn, reservoir, radiator, factory stickers, the front panel, the engine bay itself, the hinges, the uh, brake system, the air filter, the hood itself, which is very well made, and the air intake is actually open, as we can see my thumb through, my thumbnail through it, so it's really fantastic. Hood opens and closes correctly, just like the Highway 61's usually do. The antenna, which is correct, and as we open the passenger door, we can see the seats that tilt and adjust as well as the carpet inside the glove compartment which actually opens a central console with a stick shift a dashboard headliner which is made in black the black vinyl here which is actually a texture we can see this visor in the rear window this luggage rack here on the, on the trunk lid. I don't know why, but this trunk lid actually is not closing quite well. Um, but the tail lights are very realistic, just like the license plate, uh, the dual exhaust, and the badges here that are in the back of this car, the California license plate. And as we pop the trunk open, we can see that the trunk is completely fully detailed with a spare tire, this gas cylinder spare tire holder, the jack, the mat, uh, the trunk lid itself, so every detail here is well taken care of. The trim around the windows, which is actually a sort of decal, a chrome decal, steering wheel, which steers the front wheels, the dashboard, the paddles right there as a mechanical transmission, door panels are perfect, the trim, Everything here in this car is very well taken care of. Look at this handle, which is very realistic, just like this logo, this Barracuda emblem right here in this badge. Wheels and tires, which are perfect, as well as its blinkers here. And as we look at the bottom of a car, which is a unibody, we can see the perfection. The front and rear axles with working suspensions, the working drive shaft, as I turn the rear wheels, they turn, the mufflers, gas tank, uh, the bottom of the car is made in primer with the body color around the edges, and the engine and tranny are very realistic, the starter, 
radiators right here, the front suspension, which is very realistic. So this car is really very well made. I, I really like Highway 61 a lot. So I would advise this car for every Mopar fan that has a nice diecast collection. So from 0 to 10, I would give this car a 10. And by the way, I've given a 9.5 to uh, the Nauman 1969 Dodge Dart GTX, but I correct that grade and I give it a 10 as well. So I'd like to thank you for all views, for all likes and comments, for all subscriptions, and for all feedbacks you've given me so far. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, to click the bell for news, to give me a like, and stay tuned. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.